Let's roll. Bowling is a sport that's been played in different cultures for thousands of years. Anthropologists have even found an early version of a ball and pins in the grave of an Egyptian boy, buried more than 5,000 years ago. One of the most popular modern variations is 10-pin bowling, and its traditional home is here in the USA. The production process begins with the central core, made with this resin mixture. The mix is poured into the moulds and left to set. When they're removed, each core must weigh exactly 4.85 kilos or 10.7 US pounds. No more, no less. Now, although the core is mostly resin, there are two additional important pieces inside. A sphere of metal seen here gives the bowling ball mass. Another piece placed off-center, seen here in gold, helps professional bowlers to curve their shots. The ideal shot in bowling is not a dead straight one. A curved shot has a higher chance of knocking all 10 pins over in one go. This is the coveted strike, the best shot in bowling. The cores are now washed with special stones. This helps to key or dent the surface so it will bond tightly with the resin exterior. This exterior is the next part to be added. Each core is carefully placed in a new mold. Each mold holds the core dead center so that there is an even distribution of the surface material all the way around it. The core and mold will then be passed along the line to be coated. The coating is a polyurethane mix that traditionally is quite colourful. But in a slightly bizarre trend, some bowlers also want their balls to have an individual smell. Variations include cinnamon apple, lemon and even amaretto. The colourful polyurethane is pumped into the moulds, but different bowling balls have different weights. To make a new ball heavier, workers simply add a higher concentration of the polyurethane mix. The cores are all exactly the same weight. By varying concentrations of the covering mixture, a range of balls can be produced with different sizes and weights. Any excess on the coating is blasted away with air guns, and the whole thing is passed along so the moulds can be mechanically removed. The ball will now join the queue to be cut down to size. Each year, this factory produces half a million bowling balls this way. Now all the moulding and rolling has left our new ball rather rough around the edges. This next machine grinds the ball into shape without removing too much material. With the shape just right, it's time for the cosmetic finishing touches. Here the logo is being engraved. And to add a final splash of extra colour, the ground out areas are filled with coloured paste. Estimates suggest that over 40 million people bowl on a regular basis worldwide. And high demand plus a company image to maintain means the look is just as important as the quality. The next phase is the polishing. Each ball is placed in one of these cups, and the polishing rollers get to work. And finally, they're ready to go bowling. Well, not quite. Without the vital finger holes, gripping these balls would be impossible. Using a specific measuring device, exact spots are marked out where finger holes need to be drilled. This drilling is done in an automated process.
While the debris is vacuumed up, the depth of the holes is gauged to make sure it's just right. And finally, the ball is ready to go. It's wrapped in plastic packaging to protect the shiny surface for the customer, and then it's boxed up. For the professional who knows his game, a quality bowling ball is a must to make those all-important strikes needed to become a 10-pin king.